Picture this. You've been working all day and you're starving to death. You haven't been able to find a moment to eat. You get home, and before you can even take your coat off, you're in the refrigerator. You are at satiety level zero, starving. Then you grab a piece of cold chicken from last night's meal that you quickly decimate. You're now one quarter full and at satiety level one. Now you put your coat over a kitchen chair and have a few bites of the leftover potato salad. You're now at satiety level two, one half full. You finish the chicken and drink a beverage. Now you're at satiety level three, three quarters full. And you finish the potato salad. Bingo. Satiety level four. You are full. You put on the television, get undressed, feed the cat, and check the phone and email messages. Then you return to the kitchen and take out some ice cream from the freezer. You give it a zap in the microwave and you're on the sofa with Ben and Jerry. Satiety level A. Stuffed. During the commercial, you grab some Oreos and do that thing you always like to do. Crumble them into the bowl of ice cream. You lumber back to the sofa and finish the ice cream just in time for Dancing with the Stars. Satiety level B. Overstuffed. Now you're watching the show and texting on your phone. You finish the entire large bag of M&Ms without even realizing that you're eating. Satiety level C. Sick. Or that beach whale Thanksgiving, I'll never do this again feeling. We have just quantified satiety. Zero equals starving. One equals one quarter full. Two equals one half full. Three equals three quarters full. Four equals full. A equals stuffed. B equals overstuffed. C equals sick. It might have been difficult to quantify your hunger prior to this exercise. Now that you're familiar with the meter, what is your satiety level? Bariatric counselors will often use this type of instrument as a guide on how to listen to your hunger. Often obese and overweight people report eating little during the day, possibly because of the social stigma of public eating, and then they find themselves insatiable at night. They report coming home at level zero and reaching level C most evenings. This is likely to occur when meals are skipped or aren't fulfilling. It's also common to many people who have never experienced weight issues. Learning the levels of satiety, or relearning them, and planning to eat during the day can offer a much more fulfilling lifestyle and, for most people, result in consuming less calories. Most people that have not been restricted eaters report that they start a meal at level one or two. After most meals, they are at level four and sometimes level A. They also report that level zero is so uncomfortable that they will not allow themselves to get down to that level. They will take the time to eat immediately. That's the kind of statement that you would rarely hear from someone who's been stigmatized with obesity. It underlies the starve and stuff syndrome that's often associated with restrictive eating. If you present this satiety exercise to your population, it would be best to use yourself as an example and explain that going from starving to sickness is a typical consequence of skipping meals or restrictive eating. This could be a very human, useful, and humorous method of learning to listen to one's body. We have included a link to a PDF of the Satiety Index if you'd like to make copies for your patients.